Hey friends, I'm gonna prop you up somehow while I get my hair done. Here, we'll go like this. If I can get my hair done in the camera finder. This morning we have some more fun that we're going. Sorry for the bad lighting. Maybe, no, that's like even worse. But we're gonna go to a Christmas party at our church and it's breakfast, which I have been complaining about for, I don't know, maybe a decade, but they don't like to listen to me. Um, I'm actually being serious. <laughs> I hate having a Christmas party as breakfast, but whatever. But Ashley and I, and then Jason and Abby later, spent all day yesterday decorating for this party. Now, I only did balloons. And we spent from 11.30 until 3.30 blowing up balloons and making balloon arches. <laughs> and I wanted to show them to you because they're pretty, pretty cool. Um, balloons are the best bang for your buck for a party. I'll show you the sets that we, that we did. I didn't buy them or pick them out. Someone else did that was in charge of the party, but they knew that I was the balloon girl somehow. I've never done one this big, but they put me in charge of it. And it's pretty epic for $11 each. So at a cost of $22, I'm about to show you how amazing these balloons are. But also, the decorations that they did for this party are gonna be really cute. And I just wanna take you along. I've got three of my four girls coming today. And Kaylee is not wanting to wake up. Santa is going to be there as well. We've done Santa photos with him for the past 16 years. <laughs> the same Santa, which is amazing. So let me show you my cute shirt that I got. Oh, you saw it if you watched the other video. You saw, where is my shirt? You ready to go? Oh, <laughs> let me guess, is that Sadie? Yeah, that's Sadie's avatar. <laughs> let me show him. No, no, let me that's show him. Sadie. That is so Sadie, that is so cute. Okay, let me show you my sweatshirt. Kinda nice, kinda naughty. <laughs> I love it, I'm just having fun. So I'm wearing this for this party and then also for our game night tonight, which I need to actually find a snack for. We're doing like kind of a full Christmas spread for our activity tonight, um, for our party tonight with our friends. So it'll be more like actually kind of eating for dinner. You want to do the Santa photo. I really don't. We love our Santa. He dyes his whole beard and everything. It's pretty down? epic. Can I just stand? I don't want to you want to stand this time? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. You're old enough now to stand next to him. Okay, socks and shoes on. We got to go. Apparently, it actually did snow last night. I didn't. It said it was going to snow the night before, and it didn't. But there's actual snow on the ground. <laughs> It's probably all melting. You can hear it. That's what I thought it was rain. I was gonna have Abby drive, but I'm gonna try and see if I can get down the hilly parts first and see if it's slick or if it's just wet. She's. We'll find out. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go out. Out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling.
we got done at the um, Christmas party this morning, took the kids home. Um, Abby was sore. Her four teeth that were removed got food in them in the little holes, and so she was really sore. Um, it's interesting with her teeth. The second that those teeth were gone, she said, <laughs> now the, all the other teeth are like, oh, we have room, but now they're moving. She's like, it's like I can physically feel all the other teeth moving, and she's in so much pain, so she's like, can we just go home? So we went home, um, but they did a good job with that party. It was very, very cute, and uh, they got their face painted. They got to meet Santa. Um, I will show you the picture here if I have it by the time we um, edit this video and whatnot. Um, it usually takes the photographer um, a couple days to get all the photos and edit them. And Anyway, that Santa has been with us for a very long time, at least a decade. So he's a very fun Santa. Very good friend of ours, that Santa he is. Um, but it was fun. Um, so I, it's been a couple hours since that party. Um, I have gone to Costco with Abby and got her um, a new pair of snow pants. You know our little saga. Not everyone fit into everything. So everyone kinda, it's really noisy, we're right by the highway. Hang on one second. I had to go get more sizes. I got her a size um, small, because the medium was too big. But Chelsea also needs a size small, so I had to get a second one. And then the medium didn't fit Kaylee, so I had to come back and get her a size large. <laughs> And I'm just gonna keep the medium because I guarantee you next winter, Abby won't fit into the size small, or Chelsea won't. So, we had to get some more of those. I got some cheese and some crackers for um, our activity tonight, our, our party tonight. And then Abby also got a coat because Chelsea has now moved up into Abby's old coat. <laughs> so I'm letting Abby have the new coat. Chelsea will get the old one. These are literally, you know, the only things that we got at Costco today, but I'm also kind of hungry, and so I'm gonna have some crackers and cheese in the car. Now the reason why I'm sitting in my car is because Abby is at an interview for a job. And so I'm just sitting here waiting for her, um, and then we're gonna go to the dollar store. I just want some crackers. And this one is the best one. Out of all of these, the green one is the best one. And I'm just sitting here waiting for her. I think she'll get this job, but the funny thing is, is that she has an interview for a different position with the same place <laughs> in like a week. So I told her to tell whoever is interviewing her that you have like another interview and maybe you can get them all done today. Um, Abby got fries. Try not to eat them, but very tempting. So she has potential to get one or two jobs. She actually could get both of the jobs. It's just at a like a little gym, a, like a sports gym, for little sports classes for kids, I guess you could say. She's also applied for a little coaching position for little five-year-olds at the community center as well. How cute would that be? And I was like, don't you need to know how to play soccer or basketball? Or she's like, no, <laughs> they're five. We're all in the same playing field. <laughs> So, anyway, we'll see what job she gets, but I'm going to enjoy my crackers and a little TikTok, and then we're going to go to the dollar store. I need to get some gift bags for the gifts that I'm giving tonight for our party, and then I need to get all the gingerbread house candy. We're going to do that hopefully next weekend sometime, and then I also need to get... She's already done? I didn't even get my crackers. She's already done. Hang on. Hi. <laughs> I'm right on this side um, by the highway. Just oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't even eat my crackers. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in a sec. Okay. I literally waited here for two minutes. Um. Okay, well, I wanna, I wanna eat one. We'll see what she says. We'll see what Abby is. She's right there. We'll see what, we'll keep this rolling. She doesn't like to be filmed, but maybe she'll tell us whether she knows if she got it or not. That was like super fast. Yeah. Literally haven't even opened my cheese. 
Did you get the job or is it just like an interview? It was just an interview. He said that um, he would send some sort of like background check over, like email it to me, whatever. I don't know. Okay. And then, I don't know. You feel good about it? Yeah. If they're sending over background check, you got a job. Yeah. <laughs> That's paperwork for after yeah. for getting the job. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. And he said that I should also try and or that I would be a good fit to also do like like uh, birthday parties, whatever. Oh, that would be really good. Yeah. Do you have to interview for that separately, or do you have to just? I don't know. I'll figure that out. Sign up with them to like do that. I think it might be a separate interview, but if you already have a job there, I think it'll be pretty easy. Well, it's just signing up for like the extra hours, different little slots or whatever within the... I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of cool. All right. Dollar store? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. I didn't eat your fries. So. You couldn't get them. I don't want them. <laughs> well, cheers to me. Got home, got a bunch of stuff at the dollar store. I'm gonna show you all the things that we got, um, including a bunch of candy for our gingerbread houses that we are going to do later this week. Well, technically next week. So, I'm not gonna even get into that stuff. But I got a bunch of gift bags. I'm kind of funny. Let me, let me, you've already seen the gift bags I did get, but let me show you my Christmas box. This is my wrapping paper box and you'll see it more when we pull it out to actually like wrap presents, but it has everything in it. I'll show it to you more, but all of these gift bags, I like all of them for myself. <laughs> I like the way they look when we decorate and wrap the presents for the kids. They're part of my decor. They look really good with the tree. Let me just show you one of them. So you can see clearly this, <laughs> this is my vibe. And so I like to keep these ones to put my own kids and Jason's presents in when we wrap the presents. And so I tend to not want to give any of these away and I'm now down to the only ones that I want to keep. And so I don't have any gift bags or even sizes of boxes to use for presents for other people. So I'm like, well, I guess I need to, you know, now is the year. I haven't bought gift bags for a very long time. It's really bad lighting. I'm having to turn all the lights on because it's starting to get dark out. Anywho, I will use these ones for the kids' presents if I need them, but I will use, all, use up all of those other ones. But I just got a bunch. I literally got 10 of these ones because this is a pretty good size if the kids have um, like their sister gifts or their friend gifts. Um, Kaylee is doing a kind of a big fun gift for Jacob. Um, then they can grab these ones instead of the other ones that I like to have for our Christmas tree. And then I got these two for my friend's presents for our activity tonight. Um, I got some hot cocoa in this cute little jar and then some s'mores syrup to put into your hot cocoa and then cute little dip spoons to stir your hot chocolate. So that's like one little gift set. I'm going to wrap it up. If I have unwrapped candy cane, they did not have any peppermint candy canes. They did not have any peppermint candy canes at the dollar store. They had like jello cherry. And I'm like, no one wants to put a jello cherry <laughs> candy cane in your hot chocolate. Anyway, but then the other gift that we got were these slipper socks and some popcorn. So, uh, that's going to go into one gift bag and then the this one will go into another. So I've got to do that now. And then I'm going to sit and work on the computer for a little bit. Kaylee has taken Chelsea and Ashley to Target to get their sister presents. Um, it's nice when I have an extra driver now. They can divide and conquer. And um, it's just kind of fun that they're old enough now to like think of these things, plan, execute, buy. Like they're buying it with their own money. I'm not buying it. They all have money, they have, all have ways of earning money. So I'm leaving it in their hands and they're doing a really good job. In fact, I just ordered something this morning for Kaylee to give Chelsea. So they're doing a good job. All right, I've got my two bags all ready to go and I've got this tray as well. It's just dinky, it's just plastic, but I'm gonna put my crackers, my dip, 
And then I also set out some of my popcorn. It's like the chocolate covered popcorn. And then I have the keto little, what are they called? Keto nuggets um, from Costco and the crackers. I'll put that all in the tray as soon as I get there. For now, I'm gonna put all of these into my Christmas bucket. And I'm just gonna set it here. I'm really hoping we can start to wrap on Monday. Like I need to start wrapping presents on Monday. I have to. I'm getting too close to <sighs> down to the wire. I want to be ahead of the game. In case you guys don't know, we're going on a vacation. Not a vacation. Just a short trip. Only part of us are going. Um, my niece is getting married. And I need to be ready to go before I do that. Because we get back and it's like Christmas will smack us in the face. So... I have my list today. Snow pants, coat, Dollar Tree, Christmas bags, fine Sharpie, tape. I could not find their double packs of tape, which were better than their single packs. Anyway, obviously, you're going to get double for the same price. Sharpie. Sharpies are the only things that write on Christmas tags. This is the only present we wrapped. Ashley was determined to wrap a present today, and I had this one that just came in the mail. <laughs> this is for Kaylee. Um... But Sharpies are the only things that write on these Christmas tags and don't smear. In fact, that's Kaylee right there. And I have a new package. Why is she honking their horn? Oh, because Jacob's here too. <laughs> She's honking at Jacob being parked right in front of her. None of them want to get out of the car because Jacob is throwing oh. snowballs at you. Correct? <laughs> Bye. And there's ice in my shoes. He's just waiting for Kaylee. <laughs> you good? I got Ashley and stuff. Ashley? Oh, wait, yeah. oh, oh, birthday stuff. I bought a couple of things for Abby, like two things. Can I see them real quick? Yeah. Okay. Okay, a few hours later. Got the Mr. is home. Can you put that in my purse and I'll get these um, gift bags? Actually, I'm going to put you down, but I'm going to get the gift bags. We're going to head to our party. I plan on eating tonight. I did not eat dinner. Um, I'm going to have all the snacks. Hopefully someone brought salami because I was going to grab our salami. And a certain, yeah, a certain someone likes salami too. Well, I, I should have gotten another. Salami. Did he? Does he like it? He yelling it all my plate. Oh, well, that's good to know though, because that boy won't eat my food. I can't, I can't do this. <laughs> I can't grab the bag with me holding the camera. Let's head to a party. Well, you can't see me, and Jason walked away from my car. The car. There we go. And so everything turned off because he had his phone in his pocket. It is freezing out here. Like it is, there's no way we're still in the 30s. There's no way I'm waiting to get my phone to find out what the temperature is out here or the car. Um, it is so cold. Is <laughs> getting in the car? I don't know. The car turned off because you took your phone with you. Oh, oh I want that. Up. All right, I have my phone. It says it feels like 32, but it's 36. It's going to get down to 29 overnight. It does not feel like it is 32. It doesn't even feel like it's 36. It's cold out here. Oh, oh that's dark. nice. Okay, let's go to a party. But Jason's going to test how well the car like stops in snow. And ice, this is solid ice that we're standing on. I know you can't really see anything, um, but we're standing on solid ice. Hang on, see what he wants. He's locked me out. So he's on solid ice and he's trying to determine if he uses brake or not brake how well it stops. He's gonna come and see what hitting, because right now he's just doing it where taking your foot off the gas will stop the car. He wants to see what it'll do with brakes. <laughs> okay, that did a pretty good job stopping. That was with brakes. I put it to the floor and it grips. Yeah. Taken off is pretty good. Good. And just as a reference, it was an empty church parking lot. <laughs> there was nothing in that parking lot for us to hit. It's totally safe. Um, 
But it did a pretty good job stopping. Well, I put it to the floor to take off and it didn't have any spin. It just controlled it just, the speed and went as quick as it could without spinning. That's pretty good. And then I hit the brakes and it it stopped without sliding. So it did pretty good. That wasn't pure ice, but it was pretty slippery snow stuff. I let Shane park there and you just go over here. Back at home. And we have something exciting for the kids tomorrow. Right, Boo? She should be awake right now. But if you can't see, that is all their ski wear. They are getting ready to go skiing tomorrow. I did make a deal with them. They have to go to church first and then they can go skiing with dad. Abby and Ashley are going. Um, the other two don't, well, Chelsea doesn't have a desire to ski and Kaylee can't ski. With her knee, that's just too much of a risk at this point. I don't think it would be able to handle skiing. So stay tuned till tomorrow. Um, Jason is in charge. He's not taking this camera, but he'll do it from his phone. And Ashley, you gotta remind him to take the GoPro, okay? He's gotta take the GoPro and take videos of you being so cute on the mountain, right? Can't even see you over there. Um, She's never gone skiing before and I just, I don't want him to like not film it. Like this is why we do this. Like capturing these firsts, even though they're not babies, they're still doing things for the first time or the last time or. No, you're gonna be so cute doing it because you're low to the ground. Kids ski better because they're so low to the ground. So don't let dad forget to film. You gotta constantly tell him, dad, get your camera out, get your camera. I'll just do it myself and I'll be better at it. Will you? Yeah, take his phone and like when you're in the car and you're driving. I'm not gonna film in the car. Well, you gotta start the video. That's so he they're in charge and they're gonna they're gonna see that you have to remember more often than you think to like explain everything that they've done. So they're in charge. I've charged up the GoPro, gotten it all ready to go, and in fact I'm gonna put it right on his coat. Right down there, that's Jason's coat. Um we are worried about it being really cold. It's going to be probably 20 degrees, 20 to 30 degrees about the time that they're going to start skiing. So wish them luck that they'll be able to stay warm. But I had to pick up some medicine for poor Abby. Um, her mouth is really sore. Pain medication is not cutting it. So I'm going to take these up to her and call it a night. We will see you guys literally on the slopes tomorrow with them. And I'm going to go to church and then come home, take a nap, and watch the Seahawk game. And enjoy a quiet house. Right? All right. Here. This is for Abby. Take care, you guys. Good night. Make me wish you were here. I'll be home.